Hello and welcome to another tutorial for our health scene. Today I will show you how to create the lava falls. We can copy some node groups from the last video because the shaders are similar. The lava falls are simple planes. They are just long enough for the camera field of view. The impact on the surface is hidden by the smoke shader as shown in the last video. The lava is only visible at the center of the plane. This means we can apply the fade out nodes from the smoke shader. I used the UV coordinates and the X values. Shift all values to the center by subtracting 0.5. The complete black areas are the negative values. Mirror the right half by multiplying with minus 1. We combine the two halves with a maximum operation. The pattern looks good, but we need to invert it by subtracting the value from 1. Again, we can use the color ramp to adjust the fade out. The next step is to create the base lava pattern. I used the generated coordinates and the noise texture with scale 5 and detail 12. We tweak the noise texture with a color ramp. The black slider has the position 0.344. The highlights are created with a Musgrave texture. I used the generated coordinates once again. The Musgrave has the scale 0.52, detail 16 and lacunarity 1.67. I added a color ramp for adjustment, but I was quite satisfied with the result. To enhance the result, I multiplied the value with 8. We multiply the fade out with a base lava pattern. The result controls the mix shader. The black areas are transparent and the white areas are the lava with highlights. Now let's take a look how we compute the strength of the emission shader. We take the pure fade out pattern and tweak it with another color ramp. The black slider has the position 0.686 and the white slider 0.894. I took a higher black value because I don't want highlights near the edges. Multiplication with 20 increases the effect. We also double the base pattern and combine the patterns with add. Another option is to use the multiply operation instead. This increases more detail, but I wanted a more smooth result. We multiply the increased fade out with our Musgrave branch and used another add operation before the result is connected to the emission shader. To animate the lava, we need a driver. The driver value is hash frame divided by 100. This time I used the random output of the object info node and added this value to our driver. To get viscous lava, I multiplied the result with 0.3. This time we animate the Y coordinate. For the Musgrave texture, I used a random value, multiplied it with 10 and connected it to the X input. I used the shader for several lava falls and I wanted variation in the highlights. The slow speed of the highlights is slightly increased by multiplying 0.4. That's all for the lava falls. If you missed the steam and smoke shader, you should click on this video, otherwise see you in the next video.